season it's been for the Telford Tigers. The players, fans and guests to the evening are all arriving ahead of tonight's presentation. Um, I am joined with the one and only Paul Thomason. Paul, Hiya. tell us what a season it's been. It's been a remarkable season. I think we've uh, achieved what we set out to achieve. We wanted to achieve uh, winning the league. Uh, and, that, and we did, and we did it in emphatic style, and to pick up the cup as well. Uh, it's been a remarkable season. Unfortunately, we didn't uh, quite capture the triple and uh, win the playoffs, but it's always next year. It's a building block. Gives some, it gives you something to aim for next season, anyway. Oh, we'll be aiming for it definitely. Yeah, <laughs> it's uh, okay. It's a bit of a bit of pressure on all the boys and expecting to do the treble with the squad we got. But we, with the squad we had, uh, and we, we could have done it very, very easily. Uh, but I'm, I'm really proud of the boys, especially winning the league, because that's an achievement. You have to be consistent to win the league. And same with the cup, you have to go through group stages. With the playoffs, it's a, it's, it's a toss of the coin. You can turn up one day and win, or just don't play that good and lose. And it's, it, I'd like to see the, the format of the playoffs so altered, uh, especially the final weekend. Um, because, it's, like I say, it's just one game. Yeah. Well, forgetting about that, tonight is all about a celebration and reflecting on a, what a fantastic season it's been. Yeah, and this is for the boys and the fans, uh, and, and thanking the boys for all their hard work, and uh, thanking the fans as well, because they've been a big part of what we've uh, achieved this season. Uh, our crowd has threefold. It's, it's bigger than what it ever was, and the, the fans have had a big input in us actually winning the league this year. Uh, and tonight is the culmination of all our hard work, all the boys' hard work, and tonight everything's, everybody's going to be quite merry, I think. Definitely, I think you're right. Thank you so much for speaking to us. Enjoy your evening. Thank you very much. Thank you. And over here, just over my shoulder, is where the magic will be happening tonight and the players will be receiving their awards. But before that, I caught up with Jamie Carragher and Hayley McQueen, our very special guests for this evening. You know, with Liverpool, you've always got that pressure. You know, in, in the past few years, other teams have come with money, but when you play for a team, you spend big money, you know, done well in the past, you, you've always got to deal with that. So I've never really had anything different. And I think the longer, you know, the Tigers be successful, have that sort of revenue pumped into them, they'll have that pressure. But as I said in the first season, they've dealt with it fantastically well. The fact that they've won in the first year, that, that, that's such a big thing for them psychologically. Obviously, if they've won, they've got the best team. But that doesn't always sort of mean you're going to win things. You have to deal with things, you know, off the pitch, psychologically, dealing with the pressure, as we've mentioned before. And it looks like they've done that brilliantly well in that first season. But next season will be even bigger for them because they'll be the scalp that everyone wants to take. Definitely. You've obviously celebrated a lot through your career. How important are nights like this to sort of reflect on the season and just, you know, congratulate everyone? Yeah, because in this season when you're winning games, of course, it's a massive buzz and you get together after games, but you've got to then focus on the next game. And you're always thinking, you know, at the end of the season we can enjoy this. That was always the message from the coaches. Don't enjoy it now, enjoy it at the end of the season. So for nights like this, they can rightly let the hair down and enjoy themselves. And I'm sure over the next couple of weeks, the, uh, the management and staff will be on to them to start thinking about next season because... That is sport, there's always something around the corner, there's always someone who wants to take your title off you, take your place within your own team, so you can't celebrate too long, but tonight they can uh, have a good go. And also with the fans, and you know, um, for smaller sports, the fans are integral to keep it going and to make it grow. Um, how important is it as a player, and also as a fan, which you are of, of Liverpool, how important is it for the players to be able to celebrate with the fans? It is. I mean, some of my best nights out with the fans after Liverpool <laughs> wins. No doubt about that. The uh, the supporters enjoy themselves more than the players <laughs> at times. But uh, I think in a sport like this where they don't have the support that maybe we do in football, but whatever sport, there's always that hardcore support who are, you know with you, home and away through thick and thin. And I suppose the Tigers have got that really. I think in football you have a a lot more people around that as well. But they'll have that hardcore support that. Uh, I'm sure they'll enjoy themselves as much as the players tonight. When your family can get together and bond over sport as well, it's kind of a bit of it's a bit different, isn't it? And taking your kids along to learn um, sort of good sportsmanship 
and have the kids think, well, actually, it's kind of cool to exercise and it's okay uh, to maybe take on a different sport. Every little lad wants to play football. Lots of little girls actually want to play football now. Um, and you've got great football teams, particularly in the Northwest with women's football. Not in Manchester, though. Man United still don't have a women's team. So going back to football. But um, <laughs> yeah, it always goes back to football. But I think when you take families along, it's not, not I guess it's not as accessible to go and watch Premier League I'm football, is it? Because it's expensive and time consuming and you have a lot of issues like that. Mum's tearing the hair out, letting the kids out with the dads for the day and mum's like, I want to go and watch ice hockey, it's cooler. You could, it's, it's a lot more relaxed, I think, as well, ice hockey. Definitely. It's, um, it's, a, it's a really great atmosphere. Um, and although there's, which, I don't know, you, probably, you might know, there's, all, there's a lot of fighting that goes on, yeah. which is surprising because of, you know, the the range of people that mm. are in the audience, they all seem to love it, but that is part of the game, yeah. and everyone shakes hands at the end of the game, yeah. which is great, but it is an entertaining sport. It's that element of kind of the American sport that we all love and dip into at the moment, yet it's actually over here, and it's being done over here as well, so it's nice to have the contrast of your kind of slick football and rugby, and I guess your slow competitive sports like, like cricket. I won't bore you with cricket. I've mean, enough of that. It's got the cricket season coming up. But I think ice hockey just is very, very different. And if you're into fast sports, the excitement and the buzz of it, then it's definitely the, uh, a new sport to watch. Wayne, you spoke before about the importance of togetherness. You spoke about the importance of a collective endeavour. And it's been completely defined by the vision of Tom. The, the interesting thing about that is when we first bought the team, the only thing that I was really interested in, and it wasn't because I didn't like the players, it was because I didn't know any of the players. The, the, only, the only person that I knew anything about was Tom. And um, as much as we've had a successful year, and we, we have had, without question, a very successful year, you need the right coach. You need the right person to pick every single individual. And the thing that Tom does ex extremely well, I'm still entirely certain how he does it, but he knows exactly who to pick. And he picked every individual here specifically because of they have they have a skill set, <laughs> and he knew exactly what he required and what he wanted, and he went out and built it. And so for me, yeah, look, the uh, the most important person, unfortunately, can't be here. But the fact that he can't be here is because he's the assistant GB coach. And is there with the team? I am joined with Red Touch Media CEO and. Telford Tigers owner Wayne Scholes. Wayne, what a fantastic evening it's been. How great is it to have the opportunity to celebrate with the players, with the fans and with everyone at the Tigers? Honestly, I think it's the most important part of the night, like of the whole season. This night is sort of the culmination of um, our ability to be able to show that we appreciate everybody from the fans through to the players through to even the press, you know, getting people to come and say, look, we've had a fabulous year, lots of successes, lots of wins um, and a couple of heartbreaks. But tonight's the night we all get to hold hands and sort of just say, it was great, wasn't it great? And just, you know, reminisce, talk about the year and, and really just enjoy it and say thank you. Definitely. I think everyone has worked so hard all season. What better way to end it? And fantastic having the T Street Band here, having Jamie Carragher here, having Hayley McQueen. You know, it's just a fantastic celebration. Well, I mean, I think, look, in terms of what the night brings I think we've always talked a lot about how we like to deliver above and beyond you know we've just had Hayley McQueen here as the host of the night Jamie Carragher presenting our awards you know two very successful people um, and now we've got one of the best bands in the country in the T Street band here to play our music out the, to just cap off the year and say look this is what we do this is this is we we love our team you know we we love the sport and we're trying to elevate it um, and this is just another way of showing people that we're willing to go above and beyond. And this has been my first season and I have to say I've enjoyed every minute of it and I am now officially a die-hard ice, ice hockey Telford Tigers fan, so thanks for that as well. It's funny though because you know, hockey is one of those things, you go once and you go, oh, that was really unusual, that was really good and you go twice and you go, I'm really digging this. And then three times in you're like, yeah, I'm, I'm in, I'm a fan. <laughs> It's no going yeah. back. It's easy to find, uh, you know, easy to fall in love with it. It's a great sport in that sense. You know, it's, it is a fast one. You don't, you don't take years to, to find a team and you just get into the passion of it. And the fans are so passionate that it is easy to, to get into that vibe. It's so infectious being in the crowd, speaking to the fans, the ones who are new, the ones who've been coming for years. It's so infectious. And I have to say, it's, it, it does get banded around a lot, but it's such a family atmosphere. It's, it is a f fantastic for anyone to come and watch the game. 
you know, I couldn't recommend it enough to anyone. You know, you mentioned the word family, and, and again, it's the right word because you come and you just feel like you've known people for a long time. And, you know, I met a, a guy at the last game of the season, and it was his first game. Well, I swear you would have thought that he'd been for every game the way he was screaming and shouting and jumping up and down. But it is that infectious thing. And he did, you know, his thing, he said, well, I just feel welcome. I feel like I've been here before and everyone's been really nice. And, you know, so we do strive for that in the Red Hockey family. And, you know, whether you go to Telford or Manchester or Bracknell, you'll have the same experience. You'll feel welcome. You'll feel, um, you know, like it's a great family environment. And what better family than the Red Hockey family to be a part of and for the f looking forward to the future? Yeah, absolutely. I think for me, I am excited about the future. Now we've got a season next year where, you know, there are three teams in the Red Hockey family and, and we in, uh, you know, we, uh, look, we're going to deliver for all three teams. We're going to make it a, a great season next year. I'm excited. Thank you so much and enjoy the rest of the evening. So thank you for watching what has been a fantastic evening from start to finish and we look forward to seeing you next season.